Subject, attaining inner peace. Attaining inner peace. One great saint, Swami Ram, said, Peace like a river flows through me. He might have said, Bliss like a river flows through me. Bliss is inner peace, cosmic peace. Peace like a river flows through me. Now, ordinary peace of mind must be understood before we can talk about cosmic peace in an intelligent way. Ordinary peace of mind is simply an emotional adjustment through the intellect brought about by self-control. That is, if you have a little self-control, you can escape the turmoil of a restless mind. And when you do that, you will have ordinary peace of mind. It is a relief from an uncontrolled mind. That gives you ordinary peace of mind. But this is a negative state. This is not the positive state of bliss or cosmic peace or inner peace. Realize that. We hear lots nowadays about peace of mind. Well, it is a wonderful thing to escape that turmoil of an uncontrolled mind that carries you hither and yon and you cannot escape. If by self-control you can still the waves of that uncontrolled mind, that's a wonderful thing. That is, as I have said, ordinary peace of mind. But it is. It is a temporary state. It is not a permanent state. It is a negative state. It is a relief. Without question of doubt, it is even a lack of worry. But it is not the positive state of cosmic peace. And we must remember that our souls will not be satisfied. We might as well make up our minds to this. Our souls will not be satisfied with this state of ordinary peace of mind. The soul will only be satisfied when it goes back to its real nature, which is a part of the spirit of God. Cosmic peace. Bliss eternal. So if you want inner peace, know the soul, know the spirit within you, know the presence of God within. Then you will have the positive state of peace. Now this state, ordinary peace of mind, is easily attainable, those of you who are having trouble with your restless minds, by following the techniques of self-realization fellowship, especially the technique of concentration. If you can attain concentration, and I know you can by following one of our techniques, the highest technique of concentration, you will easily attain freedom from an uncontrolled mind. You will easily have self-control. You will easily attain one-pointedness of mind. And if your goal is to attain that and that alone, you can do it even by this technique of self-realization fellowship. You will know self-control of mind. Knowing that, you will have freedom from a restless mental condition and you will have ordinary peace of mind. <clears throat> now, cosmic peace is quite different from ordinary peace of mind. Cosmic peace is not temporary, as I have said, ordinary peace of mind is temporary. Cosmic peace is a permanent state. And it is a positive state. Ordinary peace of mind is not a positive state. It is not permanent. It is temporary because... As soon as the mind becomes restless again, you lose that peace. But if you attain the positive state of your own soul, cosmic peace of the soul, it will be permanent because it does not depend on outward consciousness. It depends on the inner consciousness of God within you as your own soul. So realize the difference between these two states of ordinary peace of mind is temporary, it is not permanent, but cosmic peace, cosmic peace, K 
cannot be exhausted. It is permanent. And it is your own natural makeup, so to speak, to be blissful and peaceful. But we're in the other so long and have been so long that it's difficult to think we can ever get out of it. But you can get out of it. You can surely get out of it. And so this positive state of cosmic peace, inner peace, is lasting. And it is a property of spirit and your own soul, just like cosmic calmness, cosmic love, cosmic calmness, cosmic sound, cosmic light. Those are properties of spirit. Those are properties of your own soul. And so cosmic peace is an actual inherent quality of your own soul, God within you. It is not negative, it is positive. And so the attainment of cosmic peace also can be brought about through one of the techniques of self-realization fellowship, which comes after the first technique of concentration of which I have spoken. In this technique, you are given contact with the Holy Ghost. If you perform the technique after preparing your body and your mind by previous exercises and a way of life, when you follow this technique of which I am speaking, the highest technique of meditation, you'll contact the Holy Ghost. Without question of a doubt, contacting the Holy Ghost, as we read in the scriptures, <coughs> you will go forth in peace and bliss.